I don't know who you are or what you want, but don't do this! Oh, I'm afraid I must blow. Stuff. A little chemical concoction made just for you. Enjoy! Wait, no! No! <laughs> oh, this is not good, not good. Brett's back to his evil experiments again. I thought we told him we wouldn't allow that anymore. He's turned blue into some kind of freakazoid Hulk monster. I gotta tell the others before. Oh. <laughs> that was a close one. I was almost a goner. Jeez, Purple. Can you find a more tactful way to wake a guy up from his nap? You know how cranky I get. Now where's my breakfast? Orange, we gotta get out of here, man. Blue's been turned into a giant rampaging beast and he'll be here any second. Hang on, you know I'm useless in the morning before I've had my tasty treats. Orange, I'm serious. We need to go now. Oh, is that me? Purple? It's just me and Green left. I have to save him. Green? Green? Where are you, buddy? Come on, he's gotta be around here somewhere. Hey, what's the big idea, pal? Let me... Shh! I hear them coming. Ah! Do you think it's sauce? I don't know. Quick, get in this box. Move, I'm squished in here. Shh! <laughs> He's right on top of us. Will you shut up? It's like you want to die. Hey, you. Quit messing around with those boxes and find the rest of the rainbow friends. Our mission won't be complete until purple and green transform into mutants just like you. All right. I think it's safe. What do you think Red's plan is? I don't know, but he's the only one who might be able to reverse these effects. We need to corner him in his lab and make him fix this. Yeah! Ah! Green! Go on without me. Find a cure before we're stuck like this forever. Wait! Hold on! Time out! Okay, this is Red's lab. That slimy little cretin should be hiding in here somewhere. Aha! I got you now! All right, friend. You don't have any of your giant mutants to protect you now! Ugh. Red, what happened to you? Why would you do this to yourself? Actually, I did all of this, and Red got what he deserved. Huh? Wait, who are you? I'm anti-Red. Consider me your new boss. Red, take him down. <laughs> Where am I? Hey, hey, hold on a second. Don't do this. I've never even met you before. I'm not your enemy. Red, stop the procedure. Everyone here is my enemy, and I can prove it. Long, long ago, the original Rainbow Friends used to be humans in costumes. But with waning sales, Red couldn't pay them anymore. I know all this stuff. That's why he needed us. He tricked me and the others into becoming the awful monsters we are now. Ah, so you know your history. That's good, but it's not the full truth. You see, before he turned to all of you, he originally experimented on himself. He tried to make clones that could do all his hard manual labor for him. That's how I came into this world. A perfect copy in many ways, but also completely opposite. So he locked me up. He didn't know what to do with me. I certainly couldn't be seen by the guests with my disturbing appearance. I mean, heaven forbid he embraces creation. 
I lived my life in solitude, cast away from the outside world, but still he needed me. The science behind complete body transformations is quite intense, you know. Since I shared his brilliant mind, the two of us could tackle problems he would never be able to solve himself. Without my insight, it would have taken him a lifetime to figure out how to create you and the other colors. I begged him to release me from my cell. After all, I had to make us profitable again. With just a small amount of time together, we figured out a way to bring back sales and save the play place. Just think about the new scientific discoveries we could make working side by side as equals. He seemed hesitant to trust me, even though I swore I would forgive him for locking me up for so long, to let the past be the past. I could tell he thought about it quite intensely. Deep within my soul, I knew he was going to let me out that very night. But you all had to ruin everything. Right on the cusp of my freedom, you all turned him into a robot friend just like you. After that, he was furious. He came to me with devilish intention in his eyes. I told him we could find a way to fix this as partners. That he just needed to release me and we'd come up with a cure. But his anger was too great. He said that if he had to be a monster, I did too. So he transformed me into another rainbow friend like him, with a giant head and bulging eyes. Ray couldn't bear the idea of me somehow being greater than him. From then on, I became consumed with hate. Against Red first and foremost, but also against all of you. This could have ended all those years ago, but you had to drag Red, and therefore me, down with you. I would patiently dig a tunnel in my cell every day, avoiding detection from Red. I used the time to plot, to plan my revenge. So when I was finally able to break free, I knew exactly what I was going to do. Red always thought I was hideous, a mutant, so I decided to turn him, and all of you, into real monsters. Disgusting, hideous monstrosities that obey my every command. Soon I'll put you all in glass containments, a gross macabre spectacle for the masses. Instead of being loved like you were before, you'll be vilified. Everyone will shriek and gag at the sight of each of you. You'll feel the pain I had to endure every day of my existence. And best of all, none of you will be able to do anything about it. The mutant syndrome makes it so everyone with a less powerful mind than my own is unable to resist my control. And none of you are smarter than me. But there is someone as smart as you. Red. You're in there somewhere. You have to resist. Shut up, you. Now pull the lever and let's finish this. Come on, Red. Fight it. You have to save us. What are you doing? Duck him in the acid. I command you. No. Oh, what happened? You guys are back to normal. Sure are. But look. 